Hi, I'm Made, and you're watching Photo Learning Is, and let's look at how to do the warp effect in Kden Live using baked in effects. And if you like Kden Live and you want to find out about best practice configuration and getting your feet underneath you for starting for using that tool, I do have a book available for five dollars out there as an ebook. It's called Every Tool You Need for Content Creation for Free, and of course includes way more than just Kden Live. It includes a whole repertoire of tools you can use to get started on content creation. But the hard facts of setting up Kden Live are all there. Go check it out. Again, it's $4.99, $5 US, and I really appreciate you taking a look. Thank you so much. I'm using the latest current version available from Kden Live, which is 23.8.4. And let's look at these things. These are actually not that complicated, and some of them I've talked about before, but we're just going to show how they're being used creatively in this circumstance. I have the layers. I have this kind of Star Trek-ish type of ship that I drew very quickly in Krita just to kind of get the idea across. It's not super detailed, but it creates enough of the illusion of what I'm after here. <laughs> and then underneath that is a Starscape or a Galaxyscape. Those are pretty easy to find out there on Pexels.com. Uh, there's some free donated images that you can use just to play around with this and uh, use them in your projects, which is super awesome. In order to get the first thing, though, the, the kind of front layer, if you will, of the ship, it does require use of mostly the deep fish uh, effect, as well as a position and zoom, and I'll share how those both work. So looking at deep fish first, that's out there in the effects panel. You can drag that on. And I've covered uh, how to use keyframes uh, enough times where I think that's, that's pretty intuitive. Uh, go check out the other videos on how to use the effects if you're interested to do that. From here, once you've created your keyframes, I did one way kind of towards the end here because it's kind of building up to it slowly. It creates the animation between all that space and then quickly finishes out. This one, what you have to do in order to get the effect to work under Deep Fish is you have to just change the aspect type over to HDV. Otherwise, it does not get to this extreme bending effect where reality really starts to kind of like come apart, which we're able to do. So that's important. Set to HDV, and then you can really tweak up the amount quite a bit, uh, almost to the point where it's unrecognizable if you wanted to. Um, <laughs> you can see that shifting as I really played with that. So I found a comfortable place where I thought that was representative of the effect that we're trying to do, and then kept it at that point with my keyframe. You may want to play with the Y scale a little bit because it only does, in this particular case, the, the horizontal, the X axis. Uh, you can try doing the, the Y as well to balance out because it starts to look a little flat uh, with time. Uh, so you may have to play with the uh, Y scale a bit too. All right, but otherwise it's just doing that and then kind of resetting as you reach the end of it. Now, the reason I have that in the position in zoom is I really wanted to simulate it flying off into space. So that's why this is necessary <laughs> to do that too, because the position in zoom will then take it forward and really out of view into infinity. This one object here, I drew this also myself. It's just kind of the, the sparkle or blast effect uh, that commonly accompanies a ship going into warp space or in this case, uh, entering a warp speed, rather. That's the nutshell of the ship. And then we have to work on the background because the ship does some of the effort of selling what's going on, but not all of it. The background, once you have that here, has a very similar look to it as well, but not as extreme. We do need a position in zoom. This really just kind of stretches it out to fill the space. If you get them from pexels.com, the ratio is slightly different from the HD aspect ratio. So you just kind of have to drag that out a bit to fill in the, the empty space, so to speak, uh, space to space. <laughs> so that just kind of is one keyframe. You don't have to animate that because really the rest of the animation comes for this particular effect under again, defish. So I'm gonna activate that and really a similar idea is you again have to change the aspect type to HDV to get that really kind of really cool reality bending effect and then play with the amount and the Y scale to make sure it doesn't look too too unbelievable. <laughs> you want it to actually sell the idea that something legitimate is happening a little fantastical but not so much that it's impossible. 
those two things put together a little bit of sound you could go a little more interestingly with that you could also do some more interesting animation along the engines just to kind of show it really revving up give it some more interest do some lights around your ship design or whatever um, that would all make this more interesting of course no no argument there but do all those things use the defish like i've showed you and you could get something like this So that's it, plain and simple. You could do the reality warping effect, the warp effect from the Star Trek reboot movies. If that sort of thing interests you or you want to do something similar in your own projects, this is how you do it. And this is how you achieve that kind of gathering strength, pushing out into space type of thing. So hope that's helpful. Give me a thumbs up if it was. Also subscribe if you haven't done that already. I love you all. I'll see you at the next video. Take care.